Hello, friends. Welcome back. This is the Smart Excel, and this video is all about counting versus count ifs. And this video will be showing you how to have the differences in count if and count ifs. So the same main difference is similar versus plural. So if you know one if one thing will be a singular and more than one to unlimited number will be a plural. So this is the page that I'm showing you when we have done the same for sum if. So now I'm doing this for count if. So the things are remaining the same. So there are the main categories, subcategory and mini category. So I'll be doing for two criteria and three criteria. So first we'll start with count if. So this is the main category. I want to see how many number of ownership is in the in this table or in this in this database. So I don't want to keep on counting one by one. So I want to have a systematic record. So I'll be doing is equal to count. You can see you can have count if and count if. So if I do count if and I put a parenthesis, you can see only two things are available. One is the range and criteria. But when I do the same thing, when I do first count if and then when I put a parenthesis, you can see there is an unlimited list which can go up to 255 ranges and criteria. So this is the main difference of count if and count ifs. When I do a count if, so it is going to be a range. So this is the range. So range is anything which has more than one element. So this is going to be my range and I'm going to select this as my range. So once I select this range, I'll put a, para, I'll put a comma and then I'll put some criteria. So for this range, main category, I want to count. So this will be here. And I'm going to close the parentheses. And you can see it's three times. Okay, so the now same thing when I check it over here when I go to ownership. So you can see it's the same, it's three times. So let me clear this out and now I'm going to do this for count ifs for two criteria. So there's going to be like count ifs open in parenthesis. So first I'll be having a criteria range. So this is going to be my criteria range. And now I'm going to choose, choose a criteria. So this is going to be my criteria one. And I'm going to put a comma and then I'm going to choose the criteria range two. This is going to be my criteria range two. Then I'm going to put a comma and then I'm going to put a criteria two. So this is going to be my criteria two. So I have two criteria. So this is for two criteria that I'm going to close the parenthesis I'm going to hit enter. So you can see it's four times. Now if you, if you want you can check this. So directly if you go to this area and if you want to see how many times it's offering. So you can see it's four times the two criteria. So now I'm going to show you how to do the same things for the three criteria. So I'm not going to waste too much time on that. So I'll be just going directly count it's open the parenthesis. So criteria range one is this comma criteria one is this comma criteria range two is this comma criteria two is this comma so you can see the skin tip is helping when it gets bold if you have to do the right thing then three is this comma. So you can see many category right here. Range three is this, and you can close the parenthesis and hit enter. You can see it offers only one. So if you want to see, you can just go one by one, or you can directly to the screen class. So you can see in some of it was six, but here it's count if it's showing one so the value is it was six and one when you're counting the number of times it has offered it's only one so similarly all this formula will be doing the same for averages max ifs and min ifs so i hope you get this video useful and i hope you understand the technique of using count if and count ifs i will be probably doing the next things in the next video so keep following keep sharing uh, please share this video so many people can come to know the differences and please subscribe to my channel and 
with the like one thanks for watching